a cure for wellness is about a young executive in a company who's sent to find the CEO of this company and retrieve him from this wellness center and return him back to sort out some business. Now, the wellness clinic is located in Switzerland and it's absolutely beautiful. As soon as he arrives in Switzerland, I just thought, oh, God damn it. I want to travel myself. It really it looks amazing. The cinematography is just incredible. I love the lead up to the Hilltop Clinic. It looks absolutely amazing. Makes me want to travel, like I mentioned. Now, when he arrives there, things are clearly a little bit fucked up. It's clear that things are not what they seem and that there's something more going on in this clinic. It's obvious. You know, to me, it has a real mental asylum feeling to it but it's not that at all you know I don't, I don't know why it kind of really felt Shutter Islandy to me it really felt like Shutter Island this young man conveniently ends up in an accident in a motor vehicle accident as he leaves this clinic this car rolls off a hill you know it hits a big deer and rolls off a hill and all of a sudden he's <laughs> wakes up in the in this clinic or hospital if you want to call it and he's got a broken leg so he's stuck there and what happens from there is he investigates a bit more and things are even stranger and stranger and before you know it he's questioning his own sanity you know is he actually sick is everybody in this clinic sick? Is something causing them to be sick? That is pretty much the question of this film. And to me, it's very predictable, which is kind of a very strong negative towards this movie because you you want that sort of surprise factor in films like this. You don't want to predict them. And it turns out one of the reasons that I thought was primary for getting people sick in this clinic actually turns out that... It was exactly that. My first guess within the first 20 minutes or so, I was right. And this movie is about two hour, two and a half hours long. So I couldn't believe that I was right from that early on and that it was so predictable. So definitely a negative about the movie. I found it predictable, but this is, this is right up my alley. Anything with asylums and weird clinics and psychological type thrillers is right up my alley. I've seen them all. This sort of shit's all been done before. So if that doesn't bother you, if, if, if you don't, if you're not looking for originality here, if you're not thriving for something you haven't seen before, then that's fine. You're going to like this. If you're looking for something really different and original, then look somewhere else because this has been done many times before and it's been done better before to be honest with you but having said that the film is still very very enjoyable definitely predictable and definitely didn't have a strong conclusion like what i thought it would there was a really big build-up this the, the movie is basically this huge big build-up things are unraveling this young man's finding things out about the clinic he's questioning his own sanity and when everything comes together in the end I was just a bit disappointed. I didn't think it was a big enough bang at the end. But boys and girls, you got to watch it yourself and draw your own conclusions. Go and see the film. If you like psychological thrillers, definitely go see this. If you don't like films that are predictable, well, then you should question as to whether or not you should go see this. You may not be able to stomach it because I found it extremely predictable. But hey, I watched like every movie out there if i had to score this out of 13 a cure for wellness will get a nine and that nine could have been a lot higher if it showed a bit more originality and definitely a stronger ending other than that it did a lot of things right and it's still definitely definitely very enjoyable and worth a watch